I've always been someone who is goal-oriented and chasing a better version of myself. But recently, I've realized the importance of slowing down and really being present in the moment. I've been trying to find that balance between maintaining routines and being mindful. I've found that by slowing down, I'm actually able to appreciate my routines even more. And I've found that rest is also productive. So here's to prioritizing presence over perfection and finding beauty in the everyday. Besties, we are checked into we are checked into our hotel. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so excited to be working with another Kimpton hotel. It's just crazy because if you saw my LA vlog, you guys know that I partnered with Kimpton at their sister hotel in West Hollywood. And I was literally telling you guys in the vlog that I'm just manifesting more hotel collabs. And so I was so stoked when they reached out and wanted to host me at their Huntington Beach hotel and if you guys didn't know i'm originally from hawaii so anytime a beach gets mentioned or just any type of beach escape i am there so i'm so grateful to be here with kimpton i've only been in huntington beach one time when i was a kid so i'm so excited to be here as like a full grown adult and able to experience everything that it has to offer and so with that being said i'm just quickly putting on some more moisturizer a sunscreen and some glow because i'm gonna have a little solo day at the beach my boyfriend is going to a real estate event in the town over at long beach i'm just gonna have a chill solo night to myself i think i'm gonna go pick up poke and then just bring my little picnic blanket to the beach and read and journal and just enjoy the sunset i thought we could hang out at the beach together and just enjoy the views and so although we're on a little like beach vacation i still want to maintain routine even though i'm traveling because i always feel better when i carry over some elements in my routine when i'm traveling because it just gives me some sort of structure even though i'm away from home and so i still want to be active and get my steps in and i want to also continue eating intuitively and just not lose sight of the goals that i have carrying over your routine at home to where you're traveling doesn't have to be restrictive at all and i don't want this to feel like it is restrictive i want this to be a lifestyle so we're just carrying over our good habits to wherever we may go but yeah i'm so excited for our little beach weekend because i'm meeting up with two of my friends this trip and it's just gonna be so fun and so wholesome so yeah let's go pack our beach bag for our little evening together some makeup and this is my outfit for the day we're gonna head downstairs for brunch and then the rest of the day we're just kind of 
kind of walk around. There's like a little shopping mall here, like the Servers Hall of Fame, and there's a vintage store that I really want to check out. So being that we're just going to be walking a ton, I want it to be comfortable. So these baggy low-rise jeans are from Zara. Top is Skims. Leather jacket is thrifted. My purse is JW Pay. And then I'm just wearing some Sambas to be comfortable while walking. Yeah, this is a super casual fit. Let's go get some brunch. Strawberry, banana, blueberries, cow nibs, coconut flake, and honey. Time has passed. I'm about to leave to go meet one of my friends for dinner. We last minute decided that we wanted to wear comfies, like we did not want to dress up. And honestly, I'm so relieved because I'm a little bit tired, but nonetheless, I'm excited to see my friends. Just wearing my Adidas thrifted track pants, my Sambas, the black hoodie from Abercrombie and Fitch, and then my JW Pay purse. I simply cannot wear color for the life of me. Good morning, besties. We kind of had a later start to the day, but nonetheless, we're about to head out to rent the bikes that the hotel has. If you're a guest here, you have free access to their little bike cruisers and they're so cute. So we wanna start the day off by biking the Huntington Beach boardwalk. This is my little biking outfit. I'm wearing, this top is just from Brandy. These linen pants are thrifted, my JWP purse, Amazon Sunnies, and then Friends Jewelry Brand. These are just like the cutest bangles. Did I tell you I'm rereading Avatar? Yeah. And I'm like struggling to get through it. It's because I'm just not over Throne of Glass yet. I need to get back in. Dude, it is. I'm just in a slump. No, but I will say, first three are hard. Okay. First three? Yeah, not hard, but they're just a lot of world building. Okay. So it could be kind of like boring. Uh, yeah. But the prequel, this isn't a spoiler, but every novella in the prequel is so important to the plot. Okay. So, but it just like explains why the ma main character is the way she is. Oh, it's so good. Well, Taylor's screaming in this game. It's so good. Yeah. I've been watching Desperate Housewives and it's got me to choke. Mm. I never watched Desperate Housewives. The, it's crazy. I'm being never. murdered. What? You are being, it's so good. You should watch it if you have time. Helen and I were watching it at work when our boss was gone. 
I haven't really been watching shows. Me either. We just watched Snowfall and I watched oh, yeah. I watched Desperate Housewives. I've honestly just been reading a lot. Yeah. So like that's good. But I'm like I have to force myself because like I spiral if I'm online too. Long. Yeah. Especially TikTok. I don't know why lately TikTok has been like making me spiral. So I just like literally put my phone on D and D and like bye. Of course. Of course. Gallop. This is my favorite childhood snack of all time. If you know, you know. If you don't know, you should know. <laughs> this is Hello called pandas? yes hello pandas are my pride and joy <laughs> hockey this is yan yan if you haven't tried this yet you need to go to your local asian store and buy some but it's just you dip it like this oh, that looks so yummy she can't have it because she's gluten free sadly this is squid. It doesn't taste like squid, but each thing... Can you imagine? <laughs> no. Mouse, cat. Each thing has an animal. Taste test. <laughs> Good as you remember. Mm. That crunch. A little snap. Sometimes they have the... They have chocolate and strawberry, but I like the chocolate one. I do not like the strawberry. Did you ever try the strawberry one? No, I always get the chocolate. I want to make your heart sing. You're not letting me yeah, get through to you. You, you, you. I just freshened up to go to dinner. I need to make content at the restaurant in the hotel that we will be eating at. So this is what I am wearing to dinner. This top is from Zara and it has like these cute little zippers on the side. Just my black jeans and then my Dior heels. I had such a good time relaxing with my best friend Claire and just catching up. You know those friends that you feel like time has never passed, like no matter how long you spend apart and it's just so easy to catch up. It just doesn't feel like a lot of work to like hang out with them. Those friendships are just so dear to my heart and that's what I feel with my best friend Claire and it's just so nice that I live closer to her now. Like she lives in LA and we live in Vegas so we're only like four and a half hours away. It was just so nice and so this trip is just reminding me that it's okay to take a step back and take it easy and not just be like hustle, hustle, hustle and like grinding. Like it's okay to take time for yourself and to spend time with friends and just be present and not always think about what's coming next or the, you know, the goals that you have in mind. I feel like I'm so goal oriented. I'm always trying to get to the next thing in my life and I forget how nice it is to just like slow down, enjoy the present, enjoy the people that are around me. Also just enjoy the environment that I'm in. Like and it just makes me so grateful that I'm able to do these hotel collabs and like be able to go on mini vacations like this. And this is just such a good trip to remind myself of that. Like it's okay to slow down and it's okay to indulge and not be so goal oriented like 24 seven. And intentional rest is productive. And that's what I need to keep reminding myself that like my intentional rest is spending quality time with people that make me feel better about myself and who I really love and cherish. And also intentional rest is like taking a step back from work and just reflecting on how far you've come and just being present. I just don't think I'm present enough. I feel like my mind just does not stop racing sometimes. So I'm just feeling extra grateful on this trip. And it's also is a great example of how like you can still maintain your routine while doing intentional rest, if that makes sense. Like, I just want this to be a reminder that you can rest while being productive. So with that being said, let's head to dinner. What are you doing? Why are you so far? Okay, that's good. Cheers.